Good news, Gemini for Google Workspace got released. Let's take a look. It's the first time probably 99% of us are seeing this. This is as fresh as it gets. Gemini for Google Workspace. Gemini is basically Google's ChatGPT or their product name. And they've finally released their AI product for Google. We've been talking about it since a year ago. Finally, it's here. It took 13, 14 months, but it is finally here. And it's basically, it's the AI assistant across your entire Google workspace. I'll be showing that. I'll try to do my best to show it because I already signed up for it. And yeah, so in Google Docs, in Gmail, in Slides, in Google Meet, et cetera, et cetera. And how much is it? $20 per month. Again, with these AI tools, with any tool, we always have a rule of thumb. If you use it, it's worth it. If you don't use it, it's not worth it. If you're going to use it, which it should be, it's well worth it. I would pay right now, I would pay $20 a month for this. Again, all these tools, these AI tools, there's a competitive advantage to getting on it early and actually utilizing it. So I wouldn't even overthink this cost. So how do we sign up from this page? You click on get started. Again, for my people who trust my advice and that usually pan out for them, I would not overthink this. Again, if you're on Google, I highly recommend signing up for it. And yes, as Jason mentioned, it two months for free. So kind of two months to try it out. Call to action, go ahead and you don't have to do it now, but I would highly recommend doing it as soon as you can to sign up for it. Again, it just started, you click on that and it will basically push you down the steps to do it. I took some screenshots. I tried to take some screenshots of me going through the steps. And so here it was, again, the page that you're on, you click on get started. All right, so let's just go through the steps first so you know how this works so you don't get lost in the steps. So you click on get started. You should end up to somewhere a page to your Google Workspace, a little setting page, or you just Google Google Workspace and you log in. You want to go under billing, buy or upgrade. And then you go under Gemini for Google Workspace. And you will see right here at this Google Gemini business is the one that you want to sign up for. So either on the page that we're on, or if you log into Google Workspace, that's where you want to click. You don't need Gemini Enterprise. There's no, I looked into it. There's some extra feature for Google Meet, which I don't think we need. So this will get the job done. They have two types of plans, flexible plan and annual plan. I would sign up for the flexible plan for the monthly. Always have another rule of thumb with tools. We always sign up with low commitment tools. We don't sign up for a yearly from the get-go. We sign up for monthly, make sure we're actually using it. If we are, then a month or two months later, then we decide to whether to upgrade to year, uh, yearly or not. So just have that rule of thumb. Usually monthly comments, just make sure you actually start using it. It will kind of suck if you sign up for annual and you don't use it. So flexible plan is the way to go. We'll show you a checkout. And again, that I believe the first two months are for free. And then once you sign up, then you need to assign the license to yourself. You will click on manual and you would choose to add it to yourself. You will just say for me in this account, I have five different users. I want to add it to my account. So I click on my name. And once you go to the user, you click on your name, then you will go under licenses and you will under right here, Gemini business, you will assign it to yourself. And when you do that, then you got Gemini in your Google workspace. Now the question is, what does, what does this do? Here's what it does. So how can you use Gemini in Google workspace? So in Google docs and Gmail, okay. In Google docs and Gmail, it helps us write, edit and summarize documents, emails, social media posts, headlines, and more. So it lets you either create content, obviously, inside your Google Docs or your Gmail, or you'll be able to kind of uh, rephrase or reformat different things. Let me see if I could... Let me see if I could try to show it. Inside of Gmail, you will get this button. I don't know why they kind of made this button so small and thing but that will bring up the AI little prompt or toolbar. Over here, you will you have help me write, you have formalize, you have elaborate, you have shorten. Obviously, if you have written format, you'll just select that and click on those things. But if you're looking to write, write something, then write a serious email to ask, here we go, to ask your client, well, not a serious email, but a 
friendly email to ask your client to provide you with the lease agreement that's due by end of day today. Press enter. Hi there, I'm running to kindly request a copy of this list agreement that you're planning to use for our upcoming project. The agreement is due by the end of the day. The agreement is due uh, by the end of the day. So I appreciate if you can send it to me as soon as possible and press enter and yield to, I don't know why I added it here, but it will basically write the email for you. That's one way to be able to generate emails. But what I liked even more is it's able to answer emails for you. So unfortunately I can't like go to one of my emails conversations. I don't know what there, but same idea. You go to an email thread, you click on the, this should be up and you basically select, I forgot the, what the button said, something like, you know, help me write a response. It will read your email thread and put into context and may give you a relevant answer. I've already sent this out to our team. I've already sent this out to our team. Let me see. Yeah, I sent this out to our team. Unlike a new built-in AI, AI, AI product just got released for Google Workspace, for Gmail, Google Docs, and Google Sheets. It basically adds AI to the tools we already use every day, Gmail and Google Docs and Google Sheets. We should start uh, focusing on this tool as soon as possible and let's test it out and get better at using it. Each of you dedicate time to watch this video closely and how to start using it. And I gave them this, this video did a really good job of explaining how to use it. Google has finally released Google Gemini inside of their top. So this does, does a good job. It's a 14 minute video. It goes through the process of how to how set up for it. And around the, I believe the 330 minute minimum mark, basically starts showing you how to use it. I know we've been at it for a while. I'll just let you, you know, kind of explore it and actually lead to something that I'll share with you. A little bit later, we're going to kind of focus in on this a little bit further in a very future session. Let's just focus on just signing up for it. So I would say call to action, go sign up for it.